all gray everything. It's almost Valentine's Day, but this year it's gonna be a little sexier because 50 Shades of Grey is coming out for all you freaky birds out there. So instead of doing like the Anastasia Steele look, which is basically I think like chapstick and like nothing else, I decided to do 50 Shades of Grey smoky eye, get it? Ah, ah. It's more like five shades of grey. So keep watching and we'll get this whole thing happening. Let's do it. I'm gonna start by using like a medium gray silvery color from this NYX Smoky Look Kit. I'm actually gonna be using pretty much everything out of here just because it's all of the shades of gray and it'll just make it easier. But you can use whatever you want. Like if you want shimmery, if you want matte, if you want lighter, darker, whatever. It's your eyeball, do whatever you feel like. And I'm just gonna put it kind of like in the crease and um, it doesn't have to be precise because we're gonna be layering colors, um, but just kind of put it in the crease and Blend it. And I'm also gonna use that same color to go underneath the eye. Just kind of tap it on and then you can either blend it out with a finger or with the brush, whatever you wanna do. Okay, now I'm gonna take this darker gray and just kind of add a little depth to the crease. And then kind of swing it under too and hit up that kind of outer corner and just start shading it in just a little bit. Now I'm gonna take a lighter, kind of more silvery, shimmery color and put it right on the lid. And you can bring this up as high as you want depending on like how light you want it to be, um, how much shimmer you wanna have to your eye. Totally up to you. Now I'm gonna use this kind of cream gel liner um, and it's like a really deep charcoal gray. And I'm going to line my upper lash line and then also the lower waterline and like right, smudge it right underneath those lower lashes too. Now to keep that liner in check, especially on the waterline because your eyes tend to get like a little more oily there, a little watery, I'm going to go over it with a dark gray, almost a black, and that'll make it stay longer and darken it up a little bit, and it just really um, helps to set it. I'm also gonna do just a smidge on this outer corner of the um, upper lid. Now a couple little pointers at this point. If you feel like you got a lot of powder and stuff in your eye when you're doing the waterline or eyeliner or whatever, I at this point like to use drops in my eye before you put mascara on um, to kind of get any of that gunk out. Also, if you have a lot of fallout from the shadow um, because it is darker, you can go through with a concealer and clean up under the eye or a powder or whatever you feel like you need to do. One other thing that I like to do with a smokier eye sometimes is use a taupe uh, shadow here to kind of just blend. It'll really make it look nice and clean and not raccoony. One last thing I like to do is to pop on a little bit of one of the lighter colors on the inner corner of the eye and it just kind of opens your eye a little bit. Okay, the last piece of the eyeball puzzle is mascara. And to give them plenty of like oomph and volume, I'm gonna use two different formulas. I don't know the science behind why this works to make your lashes look more voluminous and whatnot, but it does. Okay, first coat. Now we wait. Now second one. Okay, last thing, lips. I'm gonna use a nude color because we got a lot going on with the eyeballs and you don't want conflicting craziness happening on the face. Okay, that's it. Your 50 shades of gray or five or four or whatever is now complete. So go watch the movie and you know, get all crazy or something. Either way, your eyeballs will be prepared. Have you read these books? Are you going to see the movie? Let's talk about it. And if you wanna catch more of my pop culture inspired makeup tutorials, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you next time, you freaks.